so the wolf um, is a shadow creature of the forest. Um, this animal maintains a very wild nature that is not, not found in domesticated dogs at all. Um, so the symbolism between the wolf and the dog, although similar in species, wholly different. Um, curiously, an image of the wolf is found on one of the few ancient druid relics that we know of, the Gundestrip cauldron, which was uh, fished out of a swamp in Denmark. Um, the wolf symbolizes inner strength, intuition. Uh, it's often paired with the raven. Uh, Merlin, Merlin, the archetypal Merlin, is said to have had these beasts as companions during his stay in Britain's forests. Um, unfortunately, as a result of poaching, there are no wolves in Britain anymore. Um, the wolf kind of represents a misunderstood, often hidden um, aspect of ourselves. Um, Freud called it the unconscious. Carl Jung better defined it as the shadow self. Um, just as the darker aspects of our own subconscious are, are feared and misunderstood, or rather feared through misunderstanding, so are wolves. Um, their tracks resemble dogs, except that they are larger, and um, while dogs tend to approach their subjects directly, wolves tend to sidestep and approach both indirectly and cautiously. Um, males often won't use the uh, actual wolf dens. Um, they usually guard them, um, and the dens are guarded by um, the alpha males and the subordinates in the pack. Um, we mentioned salmons uh, uh, earlier. Salmons are the considered the oldest of animals in the Celtic tradition. Um, they kind of complete the, the shaman's quest for wisdom um, as he works through to the oldest animal um, in that group. Um, it seems kind of peculiar to some that most sacred, the most sacred of animals um, to the druids, or at least the shamanic druids, you know, is a fish for, um, you know, whatever reasons the salmon became known as such, it kind of represents that return to the source as well as the elixir of life, and um, the sacredness of bears and otters is, is elevated because they they are salmon-eating or salmon-seeking creatures. Um, and uh, the idea of the fish is sacred and um, fish men, concepts like that, very ancient in the consciousness of the uh, genetic memory of the race, human race. Um, boars, sows, pigs um, are sacred in many cultures and we don't find the Celts to be an exception to this. Um, boars also appear on that uh, Gundestrup cauldron mentioned earlier, and they kind of represent the hunt and the warrior. Um, wild boars are typically a representation of like the raw power and leadership, whereas like the female sow represents more of like fertility, abundance, nourishment, family. Um, she also kind of possesses an affinity for the earth of the land, the goddess, to say. Um, and in the mythology, the mythos of Maelduin, when he encounters an island in his travels, it's full of uh, fiery colored pigs, and for whatever reasons, um, it's said to be significant. And uh, another example during the illness or madness of Merlin. In his seclusion in the um, Caledonian forest, he said to have um, learned great things from pigs. Um, and then, uh, in some other arcane lore concerning Celtic mythos, then the pigs of Pridaria are stolen. It causes like a civil war in Celtia. So they they pop up now and again. Um, cats cats are another independent creature. 
probably more aligned with the Avalonians and witches throughout history than necessarily the Druids, but they're they're recognized as being sacred to the goddess, goddess particularly in Imbolc, um, which uh, in priorly we learned it's kind of a feminine, the Imbolc is really the only feminine, exclusively feminine observation in the girl grove festivals of the Druids. Um, they're kind of depicted as guardians of otherworldly treasure. Um, and uh, in that, that voyage of Maelduin, a cat is said to have guarded at least one such treasure. Um, so, And finally, to wrap this series on animals up, the otter is uh, a salmon-seeking creature honored um, because of its pursuit of ecstasy, joy, happiness. Um, they don't see life as a struggle or something merely to, merely to be drudged through. Um, otters have a strong sense of family and value friendships. And in the lore of Maelduin, an otter comes and saves the life of him and his crew by bringing him salmon to eat. So, um, you know, we've not only glimpsed the animal kingdom as applies to Druid concepts, but um, also just the idea of shamanism as a whole, because various animals and energies are seen as physical embodiments of other tr attributes. And by recognizing this, the Druid believes that they can uh, tap into that energy stream. So, um, you know, many people have felt empowered by such energies of their totems. Even we talk about such references like the courage of an eagle or the strength of a boar. Um, so therefore, such modes of thought are, are not exclusive to the Druids, but to all who share kind of in this uh, earth-oriented earth consciousness.